Welcome to this brief demo where I'll show you how the vending machine should work. So I'm going to run my vending program and you'll see that I'll see a list of items and how much they cost and how many of those items remain in the vending machine. Then it will ask me to make a selection. So I'll make a selection. I'll want to choose a candy. Then it tells me to insert some money. And let's say that I just insert a dollar and it'll tell me, hey, you're still short 25 cents. So let's say I insert another dollar and it will give me the candy, return my 75 cents, and report that the cash register now has an extra $1.25 for a total of $50.25. Now, I, and another thing that I should notice is that my candy machine now only has nine uh, candy bars left because it dispensed one. And if I choose another item, insert uh, the exact change, we'll see that the cash register has an extra dollar, and there's one less gum, and that the gum was dispensed. And then you just uh, have one option to exit your program. It doesn't have to be negative one. You can decide whatever you want to uh, choose to make it exit. And then it'll just say goodbye. Of course, if you run your vending machine again, it gets restocked, and the cash register is set back to $50. And you will need to create two classes for this project, one class will be a dispenser that holds your items. So it'll have a name, how much it costs, how many items are left. And then you can instantiate one dispenser for each item you're selling. And then the other class will be the cash register. And that will be in charge of collecting money and remembering how much money uh, is in the cash register. And you, uh, the other recommendation is just uh, make it somehow figure out a way how to make it work. You have to have the two classes, but other than that, there aren't any requirements. We aren't gonna build off of this, so you don't have to worry about making it the most efficient or the best looking program. Just get a program that works. And as long as it has the two classes and that all your methods are private or all your variables are private, then you should be able to get 100% on this project as long as it works. Now the other thing is, is I only did three items. You do need at least five different items that you're selling to get 100% on the project. And um, you only need to create one dispenser class and then you can instantiate an object for each item you wanna sell. So you don't have to create five dispenser classes, just one dispenser class, but then you instantiate it five times.